Hello. Um, my name is Lee Simmons and I am here in a little art studio in Woolwich in London um, where for the last seven years I have been working with clients from a range of different backgrounds using my skills in art therapy. Um, I've been an art psych therapist registered with the HCPC for the last 10 years and um, also using EMDR, eye movement desensitization and reprocessing therapy, it's very good for PTSD, um, to help people recovering from various traumas and also phobias, um, attachment problems, traumatic bereavements. Um, so I've been combining EMDR and art therapy in my sessions, in my therapy sessions, and found it incredibly useful, I think, because both modalities are working with images, with the unconscious. They don't require clients to talk about what's happened to them, so it can be fairly nonverbal. Um, and, yeah, very integrative. So in the sessions, you really use what skills you have and, and really tailor it case by case to the client, even though there is... Um, you know, there is a, a framework that you're, you're working with. So a few years ago, I started to run trainings for art therapists to let them know about EMDR and how it can be useful in their practices. I was doing that, I still am doing that, um, by the British Association of Art Therapists as a full one-day training, which has been on Zoom since um, 2020. The largest number I've accepted on those trainings is 25 um, to allow for a, a sort of workshop format. Um, they always fully book and there's always so much to share that I've decided to run one for a smaller number of people um, that's two hours on a Tuesday, 6 to 8 p.m., starting on May the 31st and is weekly for five weeks. So I'm sort of breaking my training up putting it in, in sort of bite-sized chunks a week apart so I can go really thoroughly into each exercise, give people a chance to go away and practice it and then come back the following week, learn the next instalment and also share with each other how they got on, um, what worked, what didn't. I can, I'll have space for consultation as well. Um, some of these exercises I've come up with myself, for example, bilateral brush strokes for processing trauma, um, creating a safe or calm place using art materials, some internal resourcing with um, mentors that also can be, can be image based and also using, um, I'm an art therapist, but I do work with drama therapists and music therapists too and, um, and supervise them. So also looking at the way that they can use their creative skills. Um, the first day will be a, a sort of introductory art exercise doing the bilateral brush strokes and the safe place, um, looking at how to resource clients for the trauma work and, um, and also ways that the practitioners can, can be using these exercises for themselves. When it's exercises that I've learned through trainings, um, through EMGR or art therapy trainings, then I will credit, of course, the people who taught me these exercises and, um, you know, and direct towards their, their websites and books, etc. Um, on June 7th, which will be the second training, um, I'll be sharing some videos from, from my work. Um, the sessions will be held on Zoom and will be recorded so people have access to these um, if they do miss a session so they can still join the following week. Um, but it will also be confidential so those, those recordings won't be available on the website and, um, and will be time limited. I'll also be looking at intergenerational trauma on June the 7th and how EMDR is being developed um, to, to help heal um, trauma that's passed down through generations. Um, that'll be referencing Mark Brain. Um, and then the following week, we're going to be, as well as doing our resourcing for internal mentors, looking at vicarious trauma and self-care for practitioners. Because people working with trauma, um, they do need to sort of be mindful 
that it can really impact on on the self. Um, it can really, so of course, secondary trauma in the practitioner and burnout. So we'll be looking at some psychoeducation around that and, and ways to guard against it. Um, I'll also be looking at how to become accredited as an EMDR practitioner or an art therapist. Uh, the course will have CPD points. Um, I'm a consultant with the EMDR Association UK and Europe, so I can also um, supervise and that can count towards accreditation. But this course isn't training people to be EMDR therapists. It also won't be qualifying anybody to be an art therapist, but it can help mental health professionals bring art and tools from EMDR into their practice and think about whether they might actually want to, to go on and do the full trainings. Um, on the 21st, June the 21st, I'll be looking at bilateral stimulation with art therapy, different ways that we can do the, the bilateral processing, but maybe using art making, paintbrushes, pastels, etc. Um, and how I'm using um, the internet, working online as an art therapist. And um, on the June the 28th, interweaves using art therapy. So if somebody's sort of getting stuck in their EMDR processing, then different ways that we can use art making to sort of move through that and also how EMGR could maybe help if someone's blocked in their psychotherapy um, work or their art therapy. We'll also be thinking about general practice um, setting and maintaining boundaries, communicating what you do. Um, I do run a supervision group for EMGR and art therapists um, trained in supervision at the Institute of Group Analysis, so sort of used to supervising groups. And as far as I'm aware, it's the first supervision group of its kind, the first supervision group in the world for art therapists and EMDR practitioners. Um, and I think this training also, the trainings I've been running are, are the first of their kind too. Um, there will be an additional bolt-on for therapeutic climbing and walking. Um, so I'm next order of climbing gym and I've been using climbing in my work a little bit. Um, in trauma recovery and the MDR therapists are also using walking for bilateral processing. So that's a little bit different. So that's a bolt on a different day on um, on Sunday, so July the 3rd. You can find all this information on the website socialarttherapy.com. So www.socialarttherapy.com. Um, if you go to the supervision drop down, then it's the, the first one there, um, socialarttherapy.com. EMDR A training. Um, and you can also email info at socialarttherapy.com for information or, or to book onto the course. Additionally, there's um, the YouTube channel, The Adventure Art Therapist, um, where there's some resources like um, four elements, kind of relaxation, exercise, meditation, um, calm place, some tools that um, can be used to help somebody to sort of self-soothe um, in the immediate, um, things like if you're really stressed, you might tense up your body, so opening the palm can help to relax, kind of little tips and tricks like that. Um, and some of these are from the, the therapy room that can be used you know, widely for anyone who's going to find it useful. And I'll put some information from the course um, up there as well. So, yeah. Feel free to get in touch for more information, have a look at the website, and maybe I'll hear from you in the future. Thanks for your time.